What is up everyone? Welcome back to J Boo's Plants and Bonsai. I hope you all are doing great today. It's a very hot day. And so today, as I'm sure you could tell by the title, we're gonna be going to a nursery, try and find some nursery stock that could potentially turn into a bonsai. And so not much else to say. I'll see you guys when we get to the nursery. All right guys, so I'm currently at the nursery as I'm sure you could probably tell. So I typically start in the succulent section, and so right now I'm at the jade plants. And so they have this jade plant, but then they also have this absolute beast of a jade plant. So as you can see, it has a super thick trunk, and it's relatively aged. The only problem is it seems to be hurting quite a bit right now, so I'm just going to have to recover it, but awesome find. And so this is actually the second nursery we went to. The first one really didn't have anything and I didn't even really want to come all the way over here because this one is much farther. But after seeing that, I mean, I'm so glad I did. And for only $12, that is an absolute steal. And so let's just go ahead and keep looking around for plants. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm super happy with that. So while we're still in the succulent section, they have quite a lot of jades. Here's some variegated dwarf jades and then just some regular crassolas. And then we have just normal dwarf jades. And they they also have these dwarf jades, which also don't look too bad. We've got some pretty decently aged and thick trunks on them. And they're just very tall. So I'm sure I could make something out of this, but I'm not gonna try right now. But here's another one. So these are also good options for bonsai. So let's keep looking around. All right guys, so I'm now in the myrtle section. And so as you can see right here, we have just a bunch of myrtles and myrtles are typically pretty good for bonsai as well. They have pretty small fo foliage. So that makes them a little bit more ideal. So just taking a look at all of these plants, it may be a little overwhelming at first. And so the first thing that I usually look for is a nice trunk or an aged trunk or a thick trunk, as well as good branch structure. So here's a myrtle with a pretty nice trunk on it. It's got some age and some thickness. The only problem is that most of the foliage is growing on this side and there's not really anything on this side, but an option that you could do with this plant is making it a windswept going this way, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this plant because it's not on sale. They usually never are, which is kind of annoying. Sorry for the background noise, but I'm not gonna pick this one up right now. Maybe if it was on sale, I would, but pretty cool plant either way. All right, guys, so I'm now in the holly section. Hollies are also a pretty good option for bonsai. They also have small foliage, which is pretty ideal. And so taking a look once again, oh my God, that background noise. All right, while well, the background noise is kind of quieter right now, here's a honeysuckle, or not a honeysuckle, a holly, my bad. Here's a holly that I think looks pretty cool. And so it's got decent rootage and a decent little trunk. And so something that I think I'm gonna get this one, honestly. And so what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna cut this branch as well as this branch off. And I'm going to just make this my new lead branch because it has this nice turn. And it's also a relatively full branch. And so we can probably make it a little canopy or something. And so I'm gonna end up getting this plant. I usually don't really work with hollies. And so I'm gonna take a risk here and try and get this plant to look nice. So, so far we have some pretty good finds. We got that big jade and we got that holly, as you can see right here, working with this ginormous jade. Super happy about this. I can't wait to have this thing recover. As you can see, it's a little bit hurt right now, but I'm sure we can bring it back. So we got this jade and we got this holly. So let's keep going. So here we have the Texas privet and I just wanted to mention this plant because they are, to me, a little less ideal for bonsai if they're small like this. And so as you can see, these are some small privets, but if you can tell, these are some relatively large leaves for bonsai. So if you are going to make a bonsai with bigger leaves, it would be a little bit more logical to have the plant be bigger as well because it kind of just throws it off if the leaves are too big and like the trunk is tiny like this but of course realistically if you have the vision to make a bonsai then by all means go for it but to me that's just my opinion all right so i'm lastly taking a look in the boxwood section these are specifically 
Japanese boxwoods. And so as you can see, here is one that I've picked out and I'm thinking of making this like a informal upright or sort of a formal upright. That's what I'm seeing at least. It may be a little hard to see on camera, but we can follow the trunk up to this branch or this branch or this branch. And so I'm not exactly sure, but we'll see. So I think we did pretty good at the nursery today. We got about three finds. We have our boxwood, our holly, and our really cool jade, which I'm super excited about. And I really hope I can get this to recover. I'm sure I can. It'll just need some TLC. And so there we have it. I'm gonna go ahead and buy these and then I'll see you guys back at the house. All right guys, so I'm back at the house as you can see and we have our wonderful jade plant right here. And so it's not doing the best right now and there's a couple reasons why I think this as of right now. So one being that this plant is root bound and I know this because there are roots just sticking out from the bottom of the pot indicating that it's root bound. So another thing is this soil seems to be holding way too much water. So I have the moisture meter right here. If it goes to blue, then that means it's really wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in right here. And as you can see, let me get a close up real quick. So taking a look at the moisture meter, we can see it is wet. But the thing is, I've barely even stuck it into the soil. It's really root bound. And so it's even hard to stick the moist meter in, but just the top layer is super wet. So I'm gonna bare root this plant and we're gonna give it some better soil. So let me bare root it real quick and I'll be back when we have it out. All right guys, so I have it about halfway bare rooted. And as you can see, it is very wet. It's pretty much turning into mud. And so that's why it's becoming root rot. But this plant is very hardy. Jade plants in general are pretty hardy. And so I have a lot of confidence we can bring it back. So I'm gonna continue to bare root it and I'll be back when we have it completely bare rooted. So I'm back after completely bare rooting it. It's got some pretty good root structure and the roots aren't too badly rotted whatsoever. And so just for reference, here's a four inch pot next to the trunk. It's roughly about the same size. Maybe the plant is a little bit bigger, but I'm still very happy with this find. And so we're gonna give it some good soil, put it in a nice pot and I'll be back with what we have. And so now we have it all potted up. It's looking really good so far. I put it in a mixture of compost, potting soil, perlite, pumice, a little bit of osmico, and some bark, I believe. I think that's all. And so the last part we're gonna do is trimming off all of these dead parts because that's just gonna fall off eventually anyways. And we're just gonna give it a light little trimming. So yeah. Something that I forgot to mention is that we actually got a few bonuses from the plants as well. As you can see, we have this other little jade plant that has roots and so this is ready to be potted as well as these two. And so just a couple of, or a few bonuses. And then of course, we're gonna try and make cuttings out of all of these branches we cut off. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that real quick. All right guys, so there we have it. We have our plant trimmed up for now. Of course, once it grows back, we'll need to trim it again and again and again until we get the shape we actually want. But for now, here's what we're working with. I think it looks pretty awesome regardless. It's an amazing trunk. I'm so happy with this find. And so the only thing left now is to just let it grow and make sure you guys stop by for updates on it because this thing will turn out to be amazing and awesome. I can just tell already. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this new kind of video, stopping by the nursery and finding plants. I don't know if we'll ever find anything this crazy again, but who knows? So that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. We're almost at 200 subscribers, so... You guys are awesome. Thanks for all the support and um, I'll see you guys later.